Okay, welcome back. We are going to be talking about modules in this tutorial and a basic overview of a module. It's basically like a little bit of functionality that you're going to drag into your um, layout, I guess. So as you can see here, we have our row and we have our column, but inside this column is a module and it's called a text module. If I click on the module, you can see it pops up and it shows uh, the main text here. It's got a general tab and it's got an advanced tab. Again, as I mentioned in the other tutorials, we have ways that we can show it, the responsive layout, the visibility, again, the animation we can add. We can also add an ID and a class to um, this element. Now, uh, again, you can use the visual, you can use the text editor, so it kind of works the same as WordPress does. Um, there's also, let's have a look, if I press on this plus button here, it brings up a number of different modules that we can use within our design. Currently, there is about 30, there's about 30 modules there, but you can download um, other add-ons. So this isn't it, like you can have 60, 80, 90, 100 different modules in here, which you can use. Um, I'm gonna be talking more about add-ons in a further tutorial, but right now let's have a look at some of the other things that we have we have an audio module a button a gallery that we could use an icon so i hope your great creative juices are flowing right now in terms of you know looking at these things and wondering what you can actually use them for again uh, if you see we have the modules tab here and we also have the rows tab that's what we talked about in the last um uh, tutorial we've also got here a template we're going to talk more about that one later but right now let me not digress i have a tendency to do that so let me stick with modules so with the modules um like instinctively we think that we should just press on button and it should bring us you know a button module but that's not how it works with beaver what you would need to do is click back on the plus sign and you have to drag out the button module and you need to place it somewhere so exactly like what you did with your rows when you had to drag out a row it's the same thing you do with the modules and again with here i can like add um, some text here so i could say click me now and as you can see the updates are done um, automatically at the same time as I'm typing. You can do things like add an icon if I want to. The icon should appear um, and I can add a link to wherever I want that to go and I can style it. So if I want to change the color of the background, I can do. If this is a type of blue that I'm gonna be using throughout my design, then I can click this button here to save it in my preset so I can always come back to that um, color if I need to we can use a hover color so let's use this bright pink and there's also some other options I'm not going to go through all the options because I'm pretty sure you can play around this yourself and again like I said you have all of the different options here in terms of uh, visibility I'm going to add a little animation here and I'm going to make sure that I press save if I don't press save okay and i press cancel then obviously everything i've done is going to go um but i'm going to press save in this instance okay so there is also a way like i added a hover um color on here but i can't see it because every time i hover i get the highlight of the column here so in order for me to preview how it looks like with all without all these distractions i can click up here and I can uh, press for preview layout. And now I can see, without all the distractions, I could see that, you know, my hover color works. Okay, so this is great, right? So you can now pull out some columns. And if I wanted to, I can move a button here. And I've also got the ability to duplicate this button. So I can click this duplicate icon here and I can move this wherever I need it to go. Okay. 
Um, it's the, basically the same with all the other modules. Every module has its own um, setting within it. So it's really up to you. I'm not going to go through every single module, of course, because otherwise we'll be here all day. And I really don't think you need that much of a hold hand. But um, you could see the flexibility already in terms of what you can do. Um, in terms of layout in terms of what you can adjust and of course if you want to you can go to the advanced tab and you can add your own um, ID or your own class and add your own CSS if you need to right what else could you do let's cancel this one I'm going to show you something about this text box which is a common theme I've noticed um, when people are building their sites. Now imagine that um, this row has a background color of, let's say the background color is a white. Okay, uh, no, it's not, it's a black. And let's save that. Now I'm pretty happy with, let me get rid of these. I'm pretty happy with the color of the text, but it can be brighter. Now, what we would, what we think we should do is we should click inside here and have a look to see whether there's any setting to change the color, but there isn't any. So I'm gonna show you two ways in which you can change the color of this text. Um, now, what most people tend to do is if I open this up, what they tend to do is they select all the color here. There is like a toggle button here and we could change the text color here to say, let's change it to white. But you can automatically see the problem with changing the text to white in this text box, right? If we come back to edit it, it's just gonna give us problems. Like how can we see that text? It's not really gonna work. So what you can do is you can add um, a class to it and I'm going to call this um, Texy. I'm going to save that. And what I'm going to do next is click over here and I'm going to choose the layout CSS and JavaScript. And here in my CSS, I can add my class and I can add my color. Okay, so that's one way that we can do it. Another way we can do it is we can go to the row and we can change the text color here. You can see on the side here that the color is changing. Okay, so that's another way. So basically that is it when it comes to modules. Um, one thing I do want to say though, and I have touched upon this on, on another tutorial, is that uh, when you create a button, sometimes our buttons need to be the same throughout all of our website. So one way that we can make sure that we have a consistent button is by saving it as a module. So we can have our own special library of modules that we use over and over again. The same with the rows. We can have our own special library of rows, which we use over and over again. And like I said before, with uh, this one, we click on save as, and we call this one, my button. Now we do not use a global setting on a button simply because at some point you would want to change the text and you would want to change the link, but you want to keep the styling the same. So just imagine I styled all of this exactly how I want it. I don't want to go on another page and then having to remember all my settings all over again. So by saving this module, which I have done, I should be able to now, if I click on the content, go to save, and I've got my saved module here. I can just drag that out. Okay, and then I can add my different texts and I can add my different link. Okay, 
So, I mean, it doesn't really make too much sense because it's on the same page, but if it was on a different page, it would make much more sense. Things that you probably would want to put as a global setting, like if you had a Twitter, a row that was a Twitter feed, that would be the same throughout the website. So, you know, I would probably use that as a global thing, but anything that needs changing in terms of content, but the styling needs to be the same, I would keep them as a, a normal saved module. Um, I hope that was it. And I hope that this uh, tutorial has helped um and stay tuned for the next one